what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We're here in a shop. This video is about if you have a Polaris Razor Pro XP, does it make a banging sound in the suspension? Mine does, Dirk's does. Turns out you need to rebuild those. We did. We got the shocks redone, new oil, put them in. Wasn't happy with how it sat still. I'll show you. You can see I got the shock on the bench and we are using a ton of thread to get ride height. And even with it like this, all the way down, these tender springs go basically right flat and the ride height is like flat. The axles, the suspension in the back are flat and it's sitting like this. They're done. If you look at the new style, this tender spring is like this thick and longer and has a smaller one up here. Totally different, way heavier. Priced out said new style and they are as much as a competitive brand. One that you've seen all over the place, one that has a huge hype, one that pops up in your Instagram feeds probably three times a day. And that is, bam, shock therapy. We did it. We're going full smooth on the Pro XP. We're gonna make it ride unbelievably well, I'm hoping. That's what they say. We are going to see if it's worth the money, if it's worth the $1,100 Canadian for their setup by the time it lands here. Haven't opened it, we should do that. Ooh. It has my name on it, imagine that. Oh boy. Wow. Nice new retainers. Those are nice. And I know what that's for. The stickers, lots of stickers. Shock therapy. Look at those babies. Those look all the beef. Cool key tag. That's pretty cool, actually. And then these, which I know mine. These are wore right out because stones have got in there. See, it's eaten away at the shock. It's eating the threads off because these are war clapped out. Look how much spaces are in there. Done. There is 2,900, I think, miles on this suspension. What I've heard recommend every 1,000, 2,000, max 2,000 kilometers to get your shock free done. So definitely overdone. I'm sure that gave the uh, quick wear on the springs with the shocks not having the proper nitrogen in them. But look at the, that is a nice bit difference. But same height, which you'd expect, but way beefier tenders. And then your main springs, again, holy frig. Wow, way better. That's unreal. Very excited. Very excited. Now the fun part of getting four of them all apart, taken apart without a spring compressor. We have to make something. We'll see. Other things going on with the Polaris. Quick update. Remember I had to put 35s on. It was only revving to 7,500. Called, emailed Aftermarket Assassins and they emailed back right away. Asked me what I was doing, what I was revving to, what clutch was in it, which I didn't know because it came with it. Walked her through all that. Got this pulled off, which wasn't the easiest, but I got it off. Take this bolt out and I end up leaving the back half on and took these bolts out. There isn't that much tension here. This is actually pretty easy. Pop the saw, spring comes out, the washers fall down, yada yada, just, everyone has that. Popped it off, found out one of the cams wasn't even moving and we took a bunch of weight out. It had, the old one had, I think two in the bottom and then three and three. We've gone to one, one and two. I haven't tried it yet because I'm also building my own snorkel for the clutch exhaust because you go in any water at all and you get wet. So hindsight 2020. Buy the Super ATV one. I'm not joking. I didn't make a video on how I made this because you don't want to at all. It's been a nightmare. I had to get a friend to make me a custom piece, um, which wasn't very expensive, but trying to weld in the elbow and fine elbow and I'm, I'm 155 bucks in now. To find this tube, which is too stiff, gonna get it mounted on. It will work. I'll show you another thing why. You have to like hack this apart. I have a nine, three inch 90 that comes up into here and you got to had to cut all this out. I'm hoping the frog skin covers a lot of it, but spend the, I don't know what it is. It's two, 285 American, 500 bucks Canadian for the kit. I would just do it. Yep. Anyways, that's enough rant. Let's put some shocks on, shall we?
turning this all the way out to get the spring up so you can get my hand in there and actually like twist it up. And it did come enough. That was definitely the worst part. You see on the camera how thin that is, is unreal comparison. <laughs> like that nuts. Nuts. Wore right out. Who knew? You gotta replace those folks. I hope this is gonna be okay. Shit. That's bad. Before we go any further, I can double check and I'll have to put anything else on there. Here, from here to here is three and a half inches. And then from here to the bottom of here is 11 and three quarters. Put that in. And um, put this bad boy in, like so. Rear. Shocker. <laughs> Get it? Shocker. It says front upper. I must put the wrong one on. Oh. Jeez, I wonder, uh, maybe looking at the wrong tender spring. Oh my Lanta. Rear upper. You are kidding me. <laughs> what the hell? Holy Christ. I know, I know, I know why you need a spring compressor. <laughs> oh my. I may have to make something. Holy moly. Look at the difference in those. What the heck? They're like 30% beefier four and a half inches taller <laughs> oh my okay I'm assuming the label should be this way I should be okay holy Moses that is sick I like this over should match the rims not too bad so I had the uh, bottoms on wrong too so that's looking a little better I was like told big gap there so here's for reference, the lowers, look how more tightly that's coiled, like unreal, and then not much longer. <laughs> Frig, same as the coil on these, like crazy. Unbelievable. Get her all put back together, and with three more to go. Good times, good times.
I am freaking deaf. Oh my god. Yeah, with the box off, it's uh, all that sound just seems to go right into the cab. Really freaking loud. First vent though, I like it. I'm gonna play around with the suspension a little more. At moments, it's like mind blowingly smooth, like totally worth the money. Then you hit a weird, weird bump and it seems rougher. I don't know. But I'm gonna play with some tire pressures and uh, I haven't played with them yet. I play with the spring rates. I think I can run it on full soft and not bottom it on my style of riding. I don't really jump stuff, although I kind of want to now because it is butter on uh, big stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty pumped. Big ride coming up. It's going to be sick. And uh, there's going to be a lot of bikes there. I'm pretty sure. It's always a good time. So if you liked it, subscribe. Give it a big old thumbs up. We'll fucking see you later. I know I did an outro for this video, but I've uh, gone on two... Pretty good rides. One you've already seen, King Boss Quad, and there's another one for the cottage coming up soon. But I thought I'd go back to this thing after having more seat time. And I don't have a clear answer for you yet. Is it worth the money? I can't firmly say that it is, to be honest with you, because I don't notice that much difference. Is it the bigger tires that makes the ride a little better? Is it because I got the shocks rebuilt that it rides a little better? Or is it because of the new springs? Other channels, side by side blog, obviously. Is one they firmly say that it is like a whole new machine when you get these shocks nothing else rides like it changes the whole dynamics to me it, it just doesn't it's better but not a crazy amount better and i had pretty bad clapped out suspension like it was bad really bad 
It is better. Over some whoops, you're just like, holy crap, night and day difference. Like it's just no comparison at all. Then you hit the odd weird washout or rock and it's jarring. Like it's not, not what you expect. Great product, definitely built, life in the factory. Does ride a little better. Worth uh, 1200 bucks Canadian. Come shipped here. I don't think so. I just, I just don't. I have them on there, it's great. But you'll have to de decide for yourself. Also on another note, I just want to uh, thank all the new subscribers. Like channel is because of the King Boss Club video, I guess, and we got some new subscribers. So I really appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, we keep rocking at this. This channel was designed for my friends to go back and watch the videos back and have a good laugh. And that's still what this channel is about. Uh, not changing anything. Just gonna keep on doing what we do. So I uh, hope you like it. Leave, drop a comment of what you guys wanna see. I still like to do the fixing videos, writing videos, all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep going. Subscribe, give a big thumbs up. We'll puck and see you later.